Now, if you're excited and you're ready to change, let me give you three steps to start life change that can change your life, your personality, your lifestyle, everything can change. Here's the steps. Number one, find out how things work. The first key to doing better is find out. To change your life, really, you need ideas. There isn't anything an idea can't change. And Schulf taught me the major problem is lack of an idea, not a problem. At first, I didn't have any money. I said to Mr. Schulf, I don't have any money. He said, that's not a problem. Now, see, up until then, I always thought it was. <laughs> right? I was confused. He said, no, no, the problem is lack of an idea on how to create money and wealth. It isn't lack of money, it's lack of ideas. So if you get the ideas, see, you can change anything. Now, to get ideas, you need a constant study of finding out. Now, Schof also said, when you find out something that works, put the information in your journal. Don't use your head for a filing cabinet. Put it in your journal so that you can do the next best thing. Repetition, repetition, repetition. Go over it. And if you repeat it, go over it, sure enough, someday, some mysterious day, the idea takes root, starts to grow, and shows up in your bank account, and your dress, and your personality, and your lifestyle. But capture the ideas in your journal. Find out how things work. Shelf gave me this word for my life change. He said, study. Great word. If you wish to be successful, study success. If you wish to be happy, study happiness. If you wish to be wealthy, study wealth. Don't leave it to chance. Make it a study. Some people just go through the day with their fingers crossed. See, that won't do it. You've got to study the things that can change your economic, social, spiritual, personal life. You may not be able to do all you find out. I understand that. You may not be able to do all you find out, but you should find out all you can do. See, you don't want to wind up at the end of your life and discover that you've lived only one-tenth of it. And the other nine-tenths went down the drain. Not for lack of opportunity, for lack of information. So that's number one, find out how things work. Now here's the best human virtue for finding out, curiosity. Make a note of that, curiosity, be curious. You might add a word to it that'll help. Childish curiosity. What will kids do if they want to know something bad enough? Bug you, that's the phrase. They can ask a thousand questions. You think they're through, they got another thousand. They'll drive you to the brink. It's a virtue. When you gotta know, be like a child. Four ways, in my opinion, to be like a child. Number one is curiosity, and number two is excitement. Get excited like a child over your ability to make yourself do anything for change. Third is faith. Have faith like a child. Adults are too skeptical. And fourth is trust. Trust is a childish virtue, but the rewards are incredible. So be like a child. Now, if you're curious, let me give you three ways to find out how to change anything. Any life direction, any dimension. Here's three ways to find out how to change anything. Number one is to read. Become a good reader. All of the successful people I know and work with around the world, they're all good readers. Curiosity drives them to read. They gotta know. They just read, 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 read. Don't be a follower, be a student, okay? I say, really, for life change, you gotta read. One way to learn is from your own experiences, but another way to learn is from other people's experiences. See, one book might save you five years if you read it. Did you know there's books on how to be stronger, more decisive, be a speaker, be a leader, have a better effect on other people. Develop your personality. Did you know there's books on that? Did you know that hundreds of successful people have written their stories in books and they wrote down how they did it and people don't read it? How would you explain that? Good worker 
hard worker, sincere, but you got to be better than sincere and work hard. Otherwise, at the end of your life, you'll wind up cold, stony broke. You got to be better than a good worker. You got to be a good reader.